Good morning, guys. Um, I have egg salad cups going out this week, and I use iceberg to make the cups. I typically don't serve this unless I'm using cups just because it doesn't have much nutritional value. But they make perfect bowls um, for all kinds of fillings. And it's kind of a pain in the butt to think about how to turn this into bowls. But after a couple of YouTube videos, I finally got the hang of it. I thought I'd show you. So you cut a couple of inches down like this. A couple of inches off of it, off the butt of it. And then... I don't waste that, that goes to my grand chickens. And then you get a big bowl of water. You can use a big noodle pan, you can use whatever you've got. If you have a big bowl like this, it just, it's, doesn't matter. As long as it's deep enough for the, the lettuce to go in. I'm trying really hard to do this all in one take because I just have this one head of lettuce left. And then you sort of fill it up with the water let the water fill in between the, the leaves like this. And then it comes right out. And then I have, let me adjust the video. I have tea towels laid out over here that I'm gonna drain the lettuce cups on. You could use tea towels, paper towels, whatever, whatever you have handy. And then I just lay them down, bowl down like that. And then you just keep going until you get to the core of it, like this little bitty stuff right here. And then I just cut that up and put it in my salad mix. I'll just do a couple more, show you. So sometimes it'll rip. And I tried to do this without soaking it in water and it ripped like this. And if you'll just stop, the minute you notice that it's ripping, if you'll just stop and let it fill with water, and spin it around, get water in between those leaves. It'll just pop right out. Now, um, if you just take your time, you have to be patient with this sometimes. and let it fill with water. Oh, I ripped that one. Because they grow in all kinds of, the leaves themselves grow in all, you know. You've seen that, you know what I'm talking about. And then it just comes out this bowl. And if you do rip it, when you fill it, you can just fold this over, or you can just simply rip this off like this. And just rip it off. And still a good bowl. After you get down here, sometimes I cut this off. If they're if it's too tough, I cut this off, and then it still leaves a, a pretty good bowl. You can fill these today. I'm gonna to fill them with egg salad, but I've also filled them with chicken salad. I've put um, chicken fajita filling in it. I've put literally anything that you would put on a tortilla or a hamburger bun or um, anything that, you know, it needs to be handheld. You could fill this with turkey and Swiss and mayonnaise. That happens to be my favorite sandwich. And then you just uh, wrap it up and eat it. <laughs> Let's see if I can get down to this core so I can show you. Because after you get down into these tighter leaves, it's a little more challenging. And sometimes they come off two at a time. I choose to leave them like that just because I don't want to rip them. And it's such a pretty cup. Can, can you see? It's such a pretty cup. So I just choose not to take them apart. I wish I could tell jokes or something, that way you're not just watching me do this. <laughs> Be a little more entertaining. So I go down until I'm ripping more than I'm saving. 
is how I choose to stop. That's good. See how little they get? We're about done. So I'm going to save that one for a cup, but that one I'm not. It's just not, uh, it's, you know, a little bite size or something, and it's it's just not useful to me with this. You could still go ahead and fill this and, and put it down and uh, and use them as cups because look they're perfect they're absolutely perfect they're just not big enough for me to send out on the meal prep menu so there it is I would love to share more tips with you guys so if you have a question on how to do something just shoot me a message I'd be happy to help bye bye I wanted to show you what they look like how I lay them out and then I just let them lay here until um, they're dry ish and just let them lay out like that